um, I, I think what we see in that are the kinds of surprising friendships in public that show us what what reconciliation that is real and radical and revolutionary can mean. And so I thought I would, I would just tell you one story. So, so in this moral movement here in North Carolina, one of the big issues that came up, you know, the, the church, we, we, we know we have positions on things. And so uh, getting into coalitions can be hard because our, you know, positions from our different camps where we've had different conversations, our positions can sometimes conflict and make it hard for us to be together because, you know, we, 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 know, what's, we know what's right and it's hard to be with people who aren't right. That's kind of the Christian problem. Um, and so the moral movement uh, has faced this challenge in um, uh, the, the question of the role that Planned Parenthood would play in the coalition because Planned Parenthood came along and said, um, we hear you uh, calling uh, for justice in the public square and that's what we've been working for and so we want to join you. And, uh, and so the question was, uh, what role can Planned Parenthood have in a moral movement? And uh, I think the way Reverend Barber negotiated this was an absolutely beautiful example of the kind of reconciliation that we're looking at today. So he said to the leader of Planned Parenthood here, he said, this is a moral movement and uh, many people in a moral movement are uh, morally opposed to abortion. She said, I understand that. He said, so uh, would you say it's fair that, uh, that, that the moral issue for you is women's access to health care? And she said, she said, yeah. And he said, well, we believe that too. But then he said, uh, this is a coalition, right? A fusion coalition where we're inviting um, people to stand together and to stand in a way that says that those powers that are trying to break up uh, the, the various efforts of the group, um, that, that, that we must stand together against them. And so he said to the leader of Planned Parenthood, he said, um, would you, would you say that it's a moral issue, you know, as someone who advocates for women, that it's a moral issue whether black women's votes are being suppressed in the state? And she said, oh, absolutely. She said, I'd agree. He said, well, I, I think we have the kind of partnership we need. So uh, he, he had been invited to be on a news show, you know, one of these news shows that kind of perpetuates all of our uh, stereotypes every night on television, you know, where, where, where the, 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 the established talking heads for various issues are, are, are on saying what we all expect them to say. He said, uh, I'm supposed to be on with this news show tonight, and uh, I want to know, would you go on with me? And she said, yes. And he said, uh, I, the only thing I want to do is I don't want us to talk about the things we're supposed to talk about. I want us to talk about uh, one another's issues. So they go on the show, and, uh, and, and the host says, um, Reverend Barber, you're here from the NAACP. Uh, we, we know that you're concerned about voting rights. Uh, what's, what's happening with voting rights in North Carolina right now? He said, well, there's a lot to be said about voting rights, but today I really want to talk about women's access to health care. And he talked for a couple minutes about women's access to health care and how this is a moral issue and this moral movement, this fusion coalition has come together and we're going to stand together. And the host kind of fumbled the, uh, the, the script for a minute because he wasn't sure why he was talking about women's rights. After all, he's the president of the NAACP. But then he said, okay, uh, uh, we also have um, the head of Planned Parenthood from North Carolina. Uh, what, what, could, could you say um, something about the, 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 the women's issues? And um, she said, well, there's a lot to say, but Reverend Barber's covered much of it. Uh, what I really want to talk about is voting rights and how men and women in this state's voting rights are being attacked. And that kind of interruption, I think, when people who aren't supposed to be together get together, it interrupts the script, a script that I think is often uh, about uh, justifying and reinforcing the world as it is. And, and because we've had such a, a long story of suppressing the radical reconciliation that the gospel calls us to, I think just that kind of interruption is what we need. So uh, thank you again.